should be back. It's showing me online. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The best laid plans, right? If you can hear me, please let me know. Okay, it's showing me connected, but it's not showing me on my feedback. All right, we're going to get things. I see the Be Right Back screen. There we go. I don't know what happened. Maybe going in and out of RetroArch, switching games. Can be the only thing I can think of. Hopefully everything looks okay. Hopefully everything sounds okay. All right. Should be back. Everything going to come up now. Yeah, we got a title screen. We got a title screen. We're back. Again, WWF Royal Rumble came out in 1993. Probably my favorite of the uh, old school, old school wrestling games. Featured 12 superstars. Even had Crush in it. I mean, Jesus. H Boy Ric Flair. Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. Razor Ramon. Yoko Zuna. The Narcissist. And the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. We've got three matches coming up from this game. We're going to start out with Mr. Perfect taking on Ric Flair. One fall match, medium difficulty. And again, I chose the games that I'm playing tonight because these are the games that actually let you choose your opponent. So coming up with the match listing, I tried to put the most interesting matches. Of course, Mr. Perfect from Minneapolis, Minnesota. The Perfect Flex, his finishing maneuver. Hope I don't get DMCA'd for the theme music playing. Gonna be taking on his one-time friend and mentor. Woo! From Charlotte, North Carolina. <coughs> 16. <coughs> Time champion of the world. Oh, got a drink, got a drink cap. The nature boy, Ric Flair. We won't talk about the dark side of the ring shit and all that fuckery that he, he did on that airplane allegedly that night. There's been a lot of controversy about Ric Flair since that episode aired. Who's to say what really happened? I've heard so many different stories about that plane ride from hell over the years. I don't know what to believe, but we're going to believe the victim in this case for right now until it's proven otherwise.
Look at that look on Ric Flair's face. Looks like he's constipated. Perfect versus Flair. One fall match, of course. Mr. Perfect and Nature Boy teaming up with one another back when Flair first came to the WWF when Perfect was kind of a part-time wrestler because of his neck injury. Acted as a coach and manager to Flair when Bobby Heenan wasn't around. Perfect going for a drop kick. Does not connect. This game is also another punchy, kicky game. Perfect. Landon. Clothesline on to Nature Boy. And Flair so far getting manhandled by the younger protege from Minnesota. Perfect. Throwing Flair outside the ring. Perfect, going for the chair shot, rolling back in the ring. Hits the nature boy right into the turnbuckle. Oh yeah, you can't beat Bobby Heenan, man. Perfect, now punishing Flair, Flair rolling out. Flair locking up collar and elbow with Mr. Perfect. The two men trying to gain control, breaking. And Kurt Hennig headbutts Ric Flair, knocks him down, and then working on that leg, working on that midsection. Flair rolls out of the way, goes for the cover. Punchy kicky, punchy kicky. Mr. Perfect going for the cover. Perfect suplex right there. Ric Flair out of energy. Probably could have gone for the pin right there. And Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig. Defeats the nature boy, Ric Flair. That slingshot suplex and a cover. We don't want no rematch, baby. We're moving right on to the next match here. Macho Man Randy Savage versus Ted DiBiase. Oh, yeah! The Macho Man Randy Savage from Sarasota, Florida, the master of the flying elbow smash and million dollar man. I'm gonna kick your ass, can you dig it? And Ted DiBiase from his seasonal residence in sunny Florida, the Million Dollar Champion, the master of the Million Dollar Dream, a.k.a. the Sleeper Hold, Ed DiBiase. <laughs> of course, these two meeting in the championship match at WrestleMania 4 for the vacant title. Macho Man coming out on top in that. Macho Man whipping DiBiase into the ropes. Comes off. DiBiase runs into the referee. Both men locking up with one another. Neither gaining a distinct advantage. 
And Macho Man knocks DiBiase to the mat. Stomping him. Million Dollar Man rolls out. Macho Man throwing DiBiase outside the ring. Comes off with an elbow smash. Working DiBiase over on the floor. And Savage back in the ring. That flying body splash on the Million Dollar Man. DiBiase up. Runs in and blocks Macho Man down to the ground, trying to come back here in this match. Macho Man body slamming DiBiase. Again, knees to the midsection. DiBiase already at low energy. Macho Man could probably easy pin him right now. DiBiase stopping the Macho Man from going up top. Elbow off the top rope. And the Macho Man, Randy Savage, pins the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Ooh, yeah. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. That was going to beat that no good Million Dollar Man. And the Macho Man, Randy Savage lived up to exactly what I said I was gonna do. And now we are going to go into the Royal Rumble match. Going to be playing as Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. Got to listen to the Macho Man music here a little bit, right? When I first got this game, this was before the uh, WWF soundtracks came out. So this was the only access that I had at the time to the, the theme music for Bret Hart and The Undertaker. I'd just leave my Super Nintendo plugged in, looping this, these theme songs for a couple minutes when I wanted to listen to them. We'll be seeing The Undertaker later tonight in the WWF Raw video game. He's going to be taking on Big Daddy Cool Diesel in a battle of the big man. But tonight in the Royal Rumble match from San Antonio, Texas, he's a sexy boy. The heart breaks. Kid, Shawn Michaels. Oh, yeah. He's just a sexy boy, sexy boy. Oh, and Michaels starting off against Razor Ramon. Of course, these two men met 1994, WrestleMania 10. This Royal Rumble match, people will start slowly filtering in until all 12 contestants are in the ring. The only way you can win is by throwing your opponent over the top rope. I don't think pinfalls work in this game. But I haven't played a full Royal Rumble match in so many years, I don't remember. But if it works like the, the real Royal Rumble, you got to go over the top rope. Macho Man, Ric Flair, Ted DiBiase, Mr. Perfect also in the ring. Shawn Michaels going at it with the Macho Man. You want to try to stay away from those ropes as much as you can. Macho Man knocking Michaels down on the mat. 
Michaels gets the advantage on Macho Man, however, cannot take him out yet. Mr. Perfect running into Michaels, knocks him down. Michaels once again knocking Randy Savage into the turnbuckle. DiBiase goes flying into the turnbuckle. We got a Pier 6 brawl going on here, ladies and gentlemen. So far, nobody has been eliminated. Ed DiBiase. I think we do have an elimination. Did we have an elimination? Somebody looked like they went flying out. No, I guess not. There's six guys in the ring still. There's always so much going on here, it's hard to tell. Ric Flair putting a figure four leg lock on the Million Dollar Man. Undertaker has come in. Mr. Perfect has been eliminated. Undertaker just eliminated Macho Man, who eliminated Mr. Perfect. And Lex Luger also in the ring now. Ric Flair looks like he's winded. Michaels and Razor Ramon were the first two in the ring. They are still in it. Shawn Michaels just going to sit over here in the corner. Here comes the Kona Crush. Michaels rakes the eyes of Flair, rakes the eyes of The Undertaker, throws The Undertaker into the turnbuckle, choking The Undertaker now. Undertaker and Michaels trading blows. Ric Flair comes in from behind and chokes Shawn Michaels. Michaels suplex and Flair. Michaels throwing The Undertaker into the turnbuckle. Shawn Michaels coming off on top, trying to hit somebody. Unfortunately, landed on his ass. Shawn Michaels has eliminated Ted DiBiase, and in comes the 600-pound Yokozuna, who was the WWF champion. Michaels tosses Luger out. Bret Hitman Hart now in the ring, trading blows with Yoko. <coughs> Michaels tosses Hitman into the corner. Shawn Michaels is about half health right now. He needs to try to stay away from some of these fresher guys until he can get them worn down a bit. I don't think you're going to toss Yoko over the top rope that easily, Heartbreak Kid. And Michaels trading blows with Hart, choking Ric Flair. Again, trying to throw Yoko over the top rope. You're just not going to do it, Sean. Stop. Yoko Zuna tossing the Hitman out. Undertaker tossing Luger out. Tatanka, the fresh man in the ring now. Four men left in this contest right now. Tatanka, the fresh man in. Michaels has been in here from the beginning. Undertaker throwing Yoko out of the ring. Undertaker with a backbreaker on Tatanka. Michaels might want to stay in the middle of the ring here. Don't want to get too close. Tatanka tosses the Undertaker. Yeah, he was all right. We are down to the final two. Tatanka, with the advantage of being the fresh legs in this match, Shawn Michaels has been in it the longest. 
Michaels now. And Shawn Michaels has won the Royal Rumble, ladies and gentlemen, eliminating Tatsanka. I know we got rid of DiBiase, and I think we got rid of Flair. There we go. Ted DiBiase, the narcissist, and Tatanka. Sean, heartbreak kid Michaels, started out with Razor Ramon and eliminated three of the 12 competitors in the Rumble match. Once again, going to take a pause for the cause, ladies and gentlemen, while we load in another game again. If we have the problem that we had going from the, the Nintendo to the Super Nintendo between the, between the New Japan game and the SNES stuff, please stay with me and just hit refresh. Be right back, screen up. We still got quite a few matches left to go here tonight. Up next is going to be the tag team elimination, the double elimination tag team match from Saturday Night Slam Masters, one of my favorite all time wrestling games. It's a Capcom game, so it's a lot of punchy, kicky fighter action from back in the mid 90s. I want to say this was out in 94, 95. And we are going to be playing tag team mode. I'll load this up. With Scorpion and Stinger, two masked wrestlers. And the tag team mode in this is basically all four wrestlers are going to be in the ring at the same time. And if player one, one of the player one guys gets pinned, I lose. But we have to pin both of our opponents to advance. I'll let this play for a little bit just for people that are unfamiliar with some of the characters in this game. Like I said, this is probably uh, next to that Royal Rumble game that we just finished playing. This is probably my second favorite wrestling game from the old school consoles. <clears throat> Very Street Fighter-ish in its graphic presentation. The thing I like the most about this game is it does, in does include entrances. Of course, in the singles matches, you can go out of the ring. Not, in, not so much in the tag team mode, however. We'll keep that on minimum difficulty, time limit. Yes, stereo on, music on, everything is good. We're going to the Tag Team Battle Royal. And as you can see, on the poster it says Scorpion and Stinger versus the world. We're going to keep going. We're starting in Los Angeles and we'll go around the world facing off against random teams until we lose twice. When we lose twice, we are done. So this could be over in two matches. This could take four or five matches. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. 
I'm going to play as Stinger. No, 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 we don't want that. We need to restart, because I definitely did not want to play with Mike Hager. So you're the one that let the dogs out, huh? Stinger and Scorpion versus Gunlock and Rasta. Starting out in LA. The Rasta man with the monkey on his shoulder. This is gonna be a pretty much a melee going to be so much going on here. It's going to be hard to keep up with at times. Oh! Ah, uh, Scorpion picked him up. I was going for the pin. Rasta and Gunlock already steaming red. All four men in bad condition already. The action in this tag team match is fast and furious. Stinger with the back suplex on Gunlock. And Rost has been eliminated by Scorpion. Stinger going for the pin on Gunlock and gets it. Scorpion and Stinger advance. I always like this fat guy. He reminds me of my friend Crusher Kanaf. Jumbo and Biff, the opponents. Jumbo going for a ride here. There is a pretty decent move set that you can do with these characters in this game. But in this tag team melee, it's pretty much just punchy kicky and uh couple of power moves if you can get them off. Stinger is sucking wind so far. Airplane spin here. I'm trying to stay away from the big guy. He is just beating my ass. Stinger kicking out. Jumbo saving Biff's ass. 
Stinger getting choked out by the big man. Stinger really needs some help right now. He is out of it. Ah, we lose. They've got they still gotta pin me, but that's not gonna be much of an issue right now, because I am out of energy. Biff and Jumbo. We're gonna get another shot at these guys. I think I'm gonna control Scorpion this time. And let the little guy just do what the little guy is gonna do. Mexico. Scorpion taking Biff right to the ground, or Jumbo to the ground. Suplex on Biff, too. Jumbo breaking that one up. Backbreaker on Scorpion. Off the top rope on top of Jumbo. Stinger gets eliminated. Looks like this is going to be over for me tonight. Scorpio getting double teamed now. Given up. is the double elimination. Just because I like this game so much, I'm going to do a bonus match for this game. I was originally going to do singles match, gauntlet style, and play as this guy, Titan, who's like an El Gigante, aka Giant Gonzalez type character, seven foot nine. It was basically going to be him versus the world, taking on everybody, but I figured the tag team, since there are really no good tag teams in those wrestling games that I'm playing... I could do the tag team match with Saturday Night Slam Master. Of course, we got Mike Hagar. I don't want him. I don't want Grader. It's forcing me to take these guys. By virtue of staying on the menu too long. <clears throat> but here's all the characters that we got to choose from. Of course, you saw Biff. Gunlock. Then you have Oni, who's kind of like a uh, Kabuki-type character. 
course, Titan, the big giant stinger you saw in the tag match. Mike Hager from, uh, what was it, Final Fight? I think it was the Final Fight series. Crossing over into this one, Grader, who is the Vader-type character, and Rasta. And, of course, Scorpion is a hidden character that you get to. There's a couple of hidden characters in here. If you make it through the single circuit, you fight Scorpion in the championship. I'm going to play as Ani. We're going to take on the Rasta Man. Backbreaker to Rasta. Of course, it's always tough on these types of games. You get the, the mirror matches. Rasta Man with the booty bump. Ani going out of the ring. Rasta with a steel chair. I usually play with Scorpio or Stinger, so I'm not really sure what to do with any of the other guys. There you hit me with that, I'm gonna hit you with it. Got a 20 count to get back into the ring. Lion drop kick. getting too close to me now because he can take me out real easy. We'll go for the pin. Yeah, very Street Fighter. Like, well, like I said, it's Capcom, so there you go. Play a double elimination with Ani if you guys want me to keep going. Next go. Gonna be fighting Biff next. running right into Biff's elbow there. Ani going down clothesline by Biff. Biff just taking it out on Ani. It's been so long since I've played most of these games consistently, I don't know what the move sets are. I just know how to punch and kick and do a few fancy things. I used to be pretty proficient with this game because it was all I played as far as wrestling when games went back before the days of the PlayStation when you can make your own wrestlers. Starting with the WWF Warzone game. Lonnie might be getting jobbed out here to Biff.
That's it. We are over. I'm gonna play one more game just so I can show you this. I wanna show you the Vader ripoff in the game. care about all this shit. Come on. Get me back out of there. The greater. Surprised they didn't get sued for this because like I said, he Look at the entrance, he looks just like Van Vader with the hood and everything. <laughs> Russian leg sweep to take him down. Yeah, how they didn't get sued for this, I don't know. Somebody was obviously a Vader fan. Coming back with a little fight. Rasta don't want to come out of the ring. Power bomb and the greater. Beats Rasta. Yo, Bubba, pass me a spatula. Just made me a slap burger. Mexico. where Oni's high-flying shit usually comes an advantage on the big guys. Because he stays up in the air. Looks like the match I had with uh, Liger and Vader earlier in that New Japan game. rid of the fucking bucket. That's one way, I guess. Yeah, it's really not wrestling, though. It's just punchy-kicky. They've definitely improved on the wrestling aspect of games.
Doggone it, that was a five dollar lunch. Play one as a Titan, too. I like it when the Titan and Scorpion team up. Scorpion will, or uh, not Scorpio, but uh, Stinger. Titan and Stinger team up. Stinger will come out riding on his shoulders. This guy is just a fucking brute. The way he's dressed, he looks like a reject from the village people. Big shoulder block on Rasta into the corner. Another shoulder block, gonna go for the pin. Rasta kicks out. Titan trying to make him submit. Rasta still kicking out here. This should do it. Rasta submits. What did you expect? You barely came up to my kneecap. Now let's see what he does against Oni. Oni owned me as the greater. You're not going to be jumping up too high on him there, Oni. Big boot putting Oni on the ground. Titan just grabbing the Japanese star and choking him. Got him in a backbreaker, throws him like a sack of potatoes. Oni coming back with a snap clothesline there. Oni starting to mount a little bit of offense. Ends a gurry kick to knock Titan on the ground. Titan going up to the second rope. Oni gonna have none of that. Flash of offensive explosion here. Oni's getting worn down, though. Look at that. Titan probably missed his opportunity to put him away. He might pay for that now. Oni just not letting him get close, keeping him at bay with those kicks. Go for the pin when we can get it. You win.
Now to Sydney, Australia. Titan versus Greater. This will be a pretty tough match, even for Titan. The powerful Greater. Not going to be as easily worn down by those big hands to the face. Grader's got some big meat hooks of his own. Grader already going for submission with the bear hug. The slap and tickle fight so far. Both men worn down already just from slapping the shit out of each other with a couple of power moves in between. And just like that, <laughs> the Titan submits. So yeah, that's Saturday Night Slam Masters. If you like Street Fighter type games in the wrestling atmosphere, this is definitely a game that you might want to look into. I promise you I was a lot better at it 25 years ago when it first came out. I just haven't played it in forever. Look at that. Face down in the locker room where he belongs. We're going to go to the Be Right Back screen while we go into our main event of the evening. The WWF Raw game. Also from Super Nintendo. This one came out, I believe, in 1993? No, this was 94. Royal Rumble was 96. Oh, no, no. Royal Rumble was 93. This was 94. Of course, this game, we're going to have the main event, brother versus brother, Brett versus Owen. Also going to have, I guess you could consider it a handicap match, one, two, three kid taking on Yokozuna. I thought about doing the rematch, one, two, three kid against Brett Hart, of course, one of the very memorable matches from the early days of Monday Night Raw back in 1993-94. The one, two, three kid back when Brett was champion, taking him to the limit. And then we have a two on one match. Doink the Clown taking on Bam Bam Bigelow and Luna Vachon. This game was revolutionary for the fact it was the first wrestling game, I believe, to feature women wrestlers. Much less would a woman wrestler being the only one in the game taking on all the guys. But, of course, if you know anything about Luna Vachon, you'll know she probably could have beat 90% of that roster in a legit wrestling match. Coming from the famous Vachon family, of course, Maurice Mad Dog Vachon. And, yeah, Luna was not to be trifled with. She could hold her own. And then, of course, in the undercard, Undertaker versus Diesel, Battle of the Big Men, WrestleMania 13 World Title Rematch. Or a WrestleMania 12 world title rematch. 13 was Brett, Sean, and the Iron Man match. I'm old. I can't remember these things anymore, guys. Of course, the Monday Night Raw intro screen matching that of the television show. That great theme music, the siren. The siren's always going to go off here. Similar graphics to what we saw earlier in the Royal Rumble game. All the theme music and everything. 
I think this was actually one of the first games you see you can play up to four players. This was one of the first wrestling games that supported the multi-tap feature for Super Nintendo. It also has a Survivor Series match where you can pick the team of four, four wrestlers. We might actually do that to finish things off here. Of course, the Raw Endurance match was basically a gauntlet match. You pick a guy and then you face off until you lose. Royal Rumble, same as what we saw earlier in the Royal Rumble game itself. And the Bedlam is pretty much an every man for itself, kind of like what we just saw in that other game, the Saturday Night Slam Master Bedlam. You can have up to three people in the match or on a team with all six people in the ring at the same time. But we will do two on one in that match. We're gonna go one fall, medium difficulty, player chooses the opponents again. That's the reason why I chose these games. I had some WCW games on the slate too. But uh, the WCW games, when you picked your wrestler, it forced you to pick, or the computer picked randomly who you'd be playing against, so. Of course, all the theme music included. I like the little TV monitor with the little uh, VCR underneath it. Bam! Bam! One of the best big men in the wrestling game during his era. Bam Bam, one of the most agile big men. Of course, Lex Luger had gone from being the narcissist in the Royal Rumble game to the All-American Lex Luger. The summer of 93. And we got Doink the Clown. I was actually hoping to do a tag team match where I could play as two Doinks, but it wouldn't let me pick two Doinks. Of course, Shawn Michaels, HBK. And we got the 123 Kid, aka X Pac, aka Six, aka Sean Waltman. And before we knew him in the WWF as the 123 Kid, he wrestled in the indie circuit down here in Florida, known as the Lightning Kid. And he will be taking on Yokozuna. Got the presentation here, a little bit different from what we saw in the Royal Rumble game, where they actually put Vince McMahon and Jerry Lawler at the announce table with the wrestler images on the monitor. Ah, he's always been fun to watch in the ring, though. Of course, you look at how these guys match up with one another. Obviously, this is no way supposed to be realistic because Yoko would be dwarfing Waltman. I don't think Waltman's ever been that beefy. One, two, three, kid throwing Yoko Zuna out of the ring. One, two, three, kid up on the turnbuckle. Yoko coming off, hits the ref. Waltman, or one, two, three, kid whipping Yoko into the turnbuckle. Drop kick. Yoko returning the favor and tossing the kid out now. Yoko with the atomic drop on the one, two, three, kid choking him from behind. Another atomic drop into the steel railing. A lot more real estate in this game than there was in the Royal Rumble game. And Waltman going to run out of the ring again. Yoko trying to bait Yoko outside the ring. Yoko seems to be a little uh, 
pissed off with the referee there, running, chasing the ref around, trying to knock him out. Referee Joey Morella, of course, the son of Gorilla Monsoon, who tragically died in an auto accident around this time. Yokozuna knocking one, two, three kid to the ground. And the kid comes up with a spike pile driver, puts Yoko down. There's no way in hell one, two, three kid would ever be able to pick Yokozuna up and do that to him. Trying the slingshot backbreaker off the rope. Yoko tosses the kid outside once again. Yoko throwing the kid into the rail. Yoko Zuna just overpowering the one, two, three kid. He is out of energy. In the ring to break the count and right back out to the floor. Hits Yoko with the chair. Working Yoko Zuna over. Breaks the count outside again. Yoko raking the eyes. I was trying to go for the count out victory there. Yoko managed to get inside though. One, two, three, kid now working Yoko. Return of the favor into the steel railing. Yoko coming back with a choke. Kid better get in the ring before the 10 count. In and out, in and out. Just staying away from the big Japanese monster. Yoko knows what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hit that motherfucker with a bucket. There we go, baby. For good measure. And we're getting back in. Yoko is going to be out on the ring. Gets in just in the nick of time. Oh, Yoko's taking me outside again. Two men struggling. Miraculously, the one, two, three kid has drained Yoko of all that energy. Working him over with the bucket again. Yoko back in the ring, just in the nick of time again. Both men at zero on the energy meter. Yoko pissed off at the referee. Yoko with a choke. Back outside the ring. <laughs> uh, Jericho would have been in WCW by now. No, actually, he wouldn't have. He would have been in 96. This is 94. So Jericho is probably still in Japan then, or in Smoky Mountain. That's probably going to be it for the one, two, three kid. I'm surprised I lasted as long as I did. The winner, the 600 pound beast from the East, former WWF and WWF tag and singles champion. Yoko Zuna! Now we will move to our Bedlam match. Actually, I gotta restart this again, because hey, guess who didn't choose Bedlam?
How you doing tonight, Yackers? Thank you for the follow, my friend. I saw you followed me the other day. I, if you did it while I was on stream, I did not see the notification. And for the Bedlam match, because it is going to be two against one, I'm going to take this down to a two on the difficulty. And we are going to relive the feud between Doink the Clown and Bam Bam Bigelow. And Luna Vachon, I'll be playing Doink. I was hoping, like I said, I was hoping to be able to play as two Doinks, but they would not let me. This is the maniac Matt Bourne, the original Doink the Clown. Not the Ray Apollo version that took the place of Matt Bourne when he was fired. Okay, we're going to pass, and now we're going to pick the opponent. And if you want to see something really funny, if you have, if you don't already know know about this guy, go on YouTube and look up Alabama Doink and watch some of the videos that that asshole put up. Of course, Bam Bam Bigelow and Luna Vachon, quite the dynamic duo back in their day. Had a nice little run there in the WWF in the mid-90s. Yeah! My old tag team partner on the radio, Tom the Chokester Motley, used to be in love with Luna Vachon. Every week when we do the Chokehold Radio Show, Tom would always dedicate about five minutes of the show professing his love for Luna. And I'm pretty sure that when we went to break, he was in the bathroom beating off the pictures of Luna in the wrestling magazines. I'm just saying this for purposes to clip this and send it to the Chokester. How you doing, Chokester? You know Mr. Capone loves you. I miss doing that radio show with you, pal. I'm going to clip this and send it to him. <laughs> Luna was creepy, but man, was she good. Just a second, guys. Let me send this clip before I forget. Sherry Martell, also a fantastic wrestler. A fantastic performer, great on the microphone. Hold on just a second, let me send this to Tom. And it's a shame both of these ladies are no longer with us. To the chokester. I'll get some shit for that later on, I'm sure. 
two on one, Bam Bam Bigelow and Lady Luna Vachon against Doink the Clown. This is when Doink was a baby face. Of course, Doink actually started out as a heel. And then after he drew the ire of Jerry the King Lawler and had the feud in, at the Survivor Series with Doink and the Dinks, all the little midget wrestlers. I don't think I can call them midget wrestlers anymore, so I'm sorry if I piss somebody off by saying midget, but Doink, Brain and Luna with a chair, throwing Bam Bam out of the ring. Doink. Luna coming over with a shoulder block, knocking Doink on his ass. And Luna running into Bam Bam. Luna and Bam Bam going to wind up getting into each other's way. Look at that teamwork. Luna feeds Doink the Clown to Bam Bam. Bam Bam throws him over the top rope outside the ring. Doink choking Luna. Suplex and Bam Bam on the concrete floor. Unfortunately, Bam Bam just absorbing it with all of his massive body weight. And Doink leading a chase outside the ring. Yeah, really. <laughs> Well, I, you saw what they made 1-2-3-Kid look like and what they made Yoko look like. Sean Mal Mal Waltman, back in this time, was maybe 180, 180 pounds soaking wet. And he's as big as Yoko in the game. Bam Bam choking the clown. Doink is in danger. Doink better get out of the ring. Better get away from these two. They are starting to really work well together. Doink just trying to buy time. Oh, they don't want none of the chair. Luna suplexing Doink onto the floor. Face first into the concrete. Now Bam Bam and Doink collar and elbow tie up here. Doink going to get counted out if he's not careful. Luna choking the life out of Doink. Doink is out of energy. Doink just getting manhandled by Luna and Bam Bam right now. It's like Bam Bam just got slapped by Luna. Bam Bam going after the referee. Bam Bam with the rollover suplex onto the floor. Doink. Dangerously low on energy now. Somehow manages to get Bam Bam with a drop kick. Picks up the bucket. Bam Bam rolling into the ring, however. They are just waiting for him. Doink with the atomic drop. Tosses Luna. Oh, comes off the top rope. That's probably going to cost him the match. Luna rolling out of the way. Doink getting choked out now. Bam Bam just sitting there watching as Luna Vachon chokes the life out of Doink. Doink runs Luna into the railing. He can keep her out of the ring for another two seconds. He might win. Luna. Ah, oh, Luna gets in just in the nick of time. I think she actually got counted out.
Doink, another atomic drop from Bam Bam. Luna should not be in the ring. She should be gone. Doink out on the floor once again. I guess she did get in before that 10 count registered. Punchy kicky, punchy kicky. Bam Bam breaking the eyes. Or getting his eyes raked by Doink. And Doink lifeless on the floor. It's going to get counted out. Bam Bam and Luna pick up the victory. They didn't need it to be via count out. The doink went outside just one too many times for his own good, and he paid the price. And now we are going to be moving into another one-on-one -on -one matchup, the rematch from WrestleMania. The Undertaker versus Diesel in a battle of the big men. side compels me to send you into an eternity of darkness. Big Daddy Cool will fill the tombstone pile driver and forever rest in peace. Oh, I used to do Paul Bearer on the radio show all the time back in the day. I've actually got a commercial that we did for uh, Paul Bearer's Real Pit Barbecue, or Undertaker's Real Pit Barbecue. Oh, I passed Diesel. Come on, let's get back to him. Salt in a one on one pinfall match. Coming up next. And McMahon, we're gonna see, we're gonna see puppies. So what if they belong to Paul Bearer? Undertaker taking it to Diesel right away, throwing the big man outside the ring. And Undertaker tossing Diesel to the floor once again. Undertaker with those big purple boots. Big Daddy Cool stand and drop kick. Undertaker not taking no shit so far in this matchup. Diesel getting manhandled by the dead man. Undertaker with a backdrop. Could probably easily put Diesel away right now, taking his time for whatever reason. No doubt, because we have a few hours to fill here for the audience, so we got to do something, right? We already gave them a couple of bonus matchups tonight from Saturday Night Slam Masters. And we just don't want to job Diesel out, to tell you the truth. Atomic Drop Undertaker tries to throw Diesel back down to the concrete. However, he hits the mat. 
Undertaker stomping. Big Daddy Cool, they better get back to the ring or they're going to get counted out. What is up with everybody punching referee Joey Morella tonight? Joey Morella has been hit more times than a baseball in a home run contest. Surprised he hasn't been disqualified. Big Daddy Cool choking the Undertaker. Undertaker with a suplex on Diesel. Diesel with a cross body shoulder block and a running drop kick. To take the Undertaker down, Undertaker getting up off the mat, however, as he is known to do. And Big Daddy Cool delivering another atomic drop to the dead man. The dead man is stunned. Diesel all of a sudden coming alive with offense. Undertaker going to roll out of the ring here. Undertaker taking Diesel. Trying to go to the top rope there. Undertaker thought better that Diesel tosses Undertaker over the top rope out on the floor once again. And Big Daddy Cool with another atomic drop. And a suplex into the rail. Choking the dead man. Knocks him and leaves him for dead. Undertaker has three seconds to get into the ring. Barely gets in. Diesel with a suplex. Diesel with a choke slam. Diesel has the Undertaker on the mat. DDT. Elbow drop. Another elbow drop for good measure. And Diesel coming away victorious against The Undertaker. I fucked around too long and should have put Diesel away early in that match. Big Daddy Cool Diesel coming out victorious over The Undertaker. The crowd is shocked. And we go now to the main event. Brother versus brother. Probably one of the hottest feuds in the history of the WWF. Especially during the 90s. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing 234 pounds. Brett Hitman Hart. Probably my favorite wrestling entrance theme of all time. Gonna get DMCA for playing this too long. And his opponent, also from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, the baby of the 12 heart children, the king of hearts, the rocket. The two-time Slammy Award winning, uh, Owen Hart. I am not a nugget. It 
It's an all-out assault in a one-on-one -on -one pinfall match coming up next. Brother versus brother. Yeah, McMahon and, and Stu and Helen Hart, they're going to have a heart attack. Their kids fighting each other at ringside. Somebody call 911. Oh, will you stop it, Jerry? Owen oh, doing some kind of weird airplane spin looking thing there. The brothers taking it out on the floor right away after Owen knocks the referee out. Owen quickly getting into the ring. Referee is out cold. Brett with a spiked suplex. Owen returning the favor. Both these brothers grew up fighting each other. They're very, very familiar with one another's style, being trained by the one and only Stu Hart up at the Hart House in Calgary. Brett, of course, the more successful of the brothers, which led to their breakup in late 93, early 1994, beginning with the 1993 Survivor Series. When Owen felt like Brett was trying to steal the spotlight for himself. Brett tosses his younger brother out to the floor. Back body drop. Brett giving Owen a lot of time to breathe here. This is going to be a two out of three falls match, by the way. Why? Because I said so. Because these are two of my favorite wrestlers of all time, and God damn it, I want it that way. Brett going for the cover. One, two. Owen rolls out right at the last minute. Brett outside the ring on top of Owen, taking it to the younger heart. And Brett leaving his brother. In a pile on the ground, Owen, however, quickly recovers. Atomic drop. Oh, Brett hits his head on the turnbuckle. Owen coming back with a drop kick. Owen choking his older brother now. Referee. Not instituting the count. Owen with another atomic drop. Brett coming down with a drop kick as Owen comes off the ropes. Referee taking his sweet time. And the first fall goes to Brett Hart. are going to have a rematch. Brett versus Owen. Bret Hart up one to nothing here. Best two out of three falls against his brother Owen. Big clothesline whipping the younger Hart off the ropes. Owen already down on the mat. Brett 
not taking any mercy on his little brother. Owen, side suplex. Brett throwing Owen outside the ring once again. And Brett loops back around. Owen picking Brett up for the atomic drop. Sends him flying to the ropes. Owen, oh, another atomic drop on Brett. Brett kicking his brother in the bread basket. Owen oh, picks up the choke. Brett with a spike pile driver. Owen oh, rolls out of the way as Brett goes down to try to knee him in the head. Brett tossing his brother out. Oh, Owen gets out of the way just in time. Costly move for the hitman there. And Brett running into the running into the ring apron. Owen looks like he has a slight advantage in power here all of a sudden. Brett went for that risky move off the top rope outside the ring and it cost him. Brett kicking out. Tosses his brother outside the ring once again. Oh, going for it again, Brett. What the hell, brother? Brett throwing Owen back in the ring. Going for the sharpshooter. Is Owen going to give up? No, he did not. Brett with another spike pile driver. Tosses the younger heart out to the ringside once again. Owen comes back in, hits him with a standing drop kick. Owen going up to the rope, thought better of that. Brett clotheslining his brother. Another sharpshooter, Owen's on the ropes, Owen gives up. Bret Hart wins two to nothing. And that's why, Owen, I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. I love you. You're my little brother. But don't you ever, ever sass me again. Or the next time I put you down in that sharpshooter, Owen, I'm going to break your fucking leg. No way Brett would actually say that to his brother, I'm sure. All right, guys, what do you say? One more match here? Do we want to do a Survivor Series match just for the hell of it? Four on four. I'm going to let you guys, if you guys are still there, you guys can pick my team that I'm going to play with. All right, the snack, since this is going to be a harder, a harder game with more people involved, I'm going to take it down to a two. I'm going to let you choose my team to snack.
I know there's probably going to be a uh, delay here. So we'll go through the wrestlers once again. We got Bret Hart. We've got The Undertaker. Yokozuna. Bam Bam Bigelow. Razor Ramon. Lex Luger. Doink the Clown. The Heart Brick Kid. Shawn Michaels. The One Two Three Kid. Diesel. And Owen Hart. And of course, Luna. Now we could have kind of a click versus the baby faces if you want. We could put Shawn Michaels, the one, two, three kid, Razor Ramon, and Diesel together on one of the teams and have them face off against Brett and Owen, Undertaker, and maybe Lex Luger. That would be an interesting matchup, but I'll let you pick the team you want me to play as. You can mix it up any way you want. You can choose from four wrestlers. It's four, four on four in this version of the Survivor Series. Baker, HBK, Doink, and Diesel on one team. Now, who are the opponents going to be? I think you can do mirror matches, too. Brett, Luger, Yoko, and Luna. Oh, that's an interesting team. You got three guys that in WrestleMania 10 were at the center of the world title picture. Brett, of course, Brett lost to Owen in the first match of WrestleMania 10. I think so, yeah. We'll try it. You want to substitute uh, Doink for Luna, or Doink for Yoko, or Doink for Luger, or Doink for Brett? We'll try it. Luna. Okay. So we got Brett. Of course, Brett lost to Owen in that first matchup. Yokozuna beat Lex Luger to retain the world title in the first matchup. And then in the final match of the evening... Brett defeated Yokozuna. Luger. And... No, it will not let me pick a mirror match for some reason. I thought I could, but I couldn't. So we'll go with Luna. That's kind of heartbreaking, because uh, having two doinks in the match would be fun. 
Bad LJN. Bad LJN. And now, King, the Survivor Series. Oh my god, big man, I don't know what to think. Luna and Doink. Undertaker starting off against Brett, the Hitman Hart. Of course, two guys on the inside of the ring, two guys on the outside of the ring at a time. It's single elimination. As soon as one guy goes out, another guy goes in. And they're fighting each other. What the hell's going on here? Brett and Doink are fighting each other. Yoko and Lex are fighting each other. Or Yoko and Taker. And Yoko pinned Taker. Don Michaels in for the Undertaker. It's Sean. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Diesel coming in now. Sean didn't get eliminated. What the hell? I think this game mode is broken. It's eliminating guys that weren't pinned. And Diesel leaving the ring. Doink, the sole survivor for that player one team. What the fuck is going on here? I think all my teammates walked out on me. The snack, what the fuck? Doink fighting off Luger and Luna. Luna jo choking Doink. Doink gonna get counted out. I don't know what the hell that was. But the team of Luna, Luger... <laughs> Yoko and Brett win... I saw Yoko pin The Undertaker, but Diesel and Shawn Michaels just walked out of the match. They walked away. They left Doink in there to fan for himself. Insanity. Oh my god. I don't know what to say about that match because, uh, yeah. That was a Survivor Series match. It should have been four on four. Maybe because we picked we mixed up the uh, heels and the baby faces. Maybe Michaels and Diesel were like, the hell with this. Let's do the rematch, just for shits and giggles. Let's see what happens. Undertaker suplex and Bret Hart. Drop kicks him. Yoko coming in to save Brett. Uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe because I see the timer running now. Maybe when the guy, the illegal guys in the ring, it's counting them out that way. That's probably what happened.
Taker tossing Brett. Taker tagging in Doink. Brett tagging in Yoko. Yeah, Brett and Taker getting counted. Doink and Yoko now going at it. Referee is knocked out. All four men in the ring. Referee Joey Morella coming to. The count out resumes. Big atomic drop. And it looks like Brett has been eliminated. Undertaker has been eliminated. That's what happened in the first match then. Luger, the illegal man in the ring right now. Luger about to be counted out if he doesn't get out of there. Looks like Luger powdered out just in time to avoid that 10 count. And Shawn Michaels facing elimination now. Doink and Luna going at it. Yokozuna beating up the ref. Diesel coming in. Doink just running the ropes. Yoko down. Luna making the save for Yoko. Yoko on the top rope. Doink grabbing Luna by the hair and fast smashing her face first into the mat. And Doink runs Luna into Yoko. Yoko throwing his opponents over the top rope. Doink choking Yoko. Luna coming with a chair. Yoko back body drop onto the concrete. Doink getting in to avoid the count out. Choking Yoko now. Yoko Zuna snaps suplex on Doink. Doink, the last man standing once again. Bret Hart, Luna Vachon, and Yoko Zuna left on the other team. Luna choking the life out of Doink, smashes him into the railing again. Bret trying to keep him outside the ring, trying to win this by count out. Doink better get back in. And it's only a matter of time. Luna circling her prey like a vulture right now. Doink, atomic drop. He is dazed. Luna whips Doink into the turnbuckle, stalking her prey. Luger choking him. Luna with the splash, giving Doink a few kicks for good measure. Doink better get out of that corner. Luna running the ropes. Doink with an arm drag. Doink the clown in an almost hopeless position here against three very fresh superstars. Luger with a snap suplex. All Luger had to do was cover Doink and he probably could have pinned him at this point. Luger again with an arm drag. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. All right, so we discovered that uh, you get counted out in the Survivor Series match in this game. That's kind of bullshit. It should be by pinfall or submission only, but hey, I guess wrestling's got to have rules when they want rules, right? Holy Toledo, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed it tonight. We had a little bit of a technical issue there on one of the changes. And I can say that uh, I can definitely see the appeal of running wrestling games as a simulation after trying to do move sets.
and try to play the game because, you know, these older games, it's pretty much punchy, kicky, punchy, kicky. But holy shit. I want to appreciate everybody that came out tonight, hung out with me to snack. Thank you for being here, Yakers. It's good to see you in chat, my friend. Thank you again for the follow. And for everybody that was lurking, I'm going to send this over to Stonegrass, who's running the SGWF WWE 2K19 Stone and his wife, Carrie, who was recently taken over as GM of the SGWF for the month of October. They're running their weekly Tuesday night Titan show. And we're going to throw it over to them and their simulation. I've got a wrestler in that league, Mr. Fix-It. And I'll be back tomorrow night, 8 o'clock p.m. for the Tecmo Super Bowl Week 4 prediction stream. I hope to see you there. Giants versus Saints. I'm 3-0 on stream with the Giants. Giants are 0-3 in real life. Maybe I'll tank the game. So the Giants can win one in real life. The bonus game is going to be the Bucks at the Patriots. I know I played the Bucks last week, but too good of an opportunity with Tom Brady going back to New England. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you tomorrow night. Take care of yourselves. We're going to Stone. I don't